This is Dr. Munir Abbasi from Daniel Ultrasound Clinic. Uh, today we are discussing the scrotal pathology. So here using 7.5 megahertz frequency probe, we are visualizing watching this scrotal tissue, scrotum. It apparently appears normal. This is the lower pole, this is the upper pole, and this is the parenchyma of the testicle, which appears normal in size, shape, and ecotexture. Now, here is a pathology. You can see this. This is a cystic complex structure located near the lower pole of the left testicle. It appears separate from the testicular tissue, which means it is extratesticular in location. You can see this. Here is the testicle, lower pole, and here is the cystic structure, complex one. Again, I show you. Here it is. This is the testicular structure. So, Inside this cystic structure, there is debris like internal echoes which are moving freely, suggesting thick or old fluid, possibly with the proteinaceous or hemorrhagic material. You see, here is the here are the internal echoes which are moving freely. So this is called a cystic. We will come to the diagnosis later, but let us see the details of this structure. This is well circumscribed, however. Now, in the same region, that is around the left epididymal area, we are also noting a cystic meshwork like this one. Here. This pattern sometimes in most of the cases indicates infective pathologies. These are not very coarse, neither free hydrocele. So this indicating multiple tiny cystic spaces within or around the epididymal region. Here is a larger one, cystic structure. These are the small cystic structures like a wave pattern or meshwork of cystic structures. Now let's go to the left testicle. The left testicle itself appears normal in size, shape and ecotexture with no solid or focal abnormality. There is no hydrocele as I told you, neither any sign of varicocele. So, the impression would be left epididymal complex, cystic, uh, spermatocele containing internal echoes, possibly representing old hemorrhagic or infected contents, and let left testicle itself appears sonographically normal. Now, so friend, this is a case of an epididymal complex cyst near the lower pole of the left testes showing internal debris but a normal testicle itself. Also remember lesions separate from the testes are usually benign epididymal cysts or spermatoceles. Additionally I can show you the contralateral testicle here it is. It appears absolutely normal, showing no signs of hydrocele or any spermatose. There is no spermatocele, no solid or cystic mass. Oh yes, here is also another small cystic structure in the upper pole of the right testicle. There are two cystic structures. These are two small spermatoceles in the head of the te right testicle. This is an additional finding still.
the larger one measures approximately 1.4 centimeters. So he is also same similar meshwork of cystic structures. So this is a bilateral pathology. The left cystic structure appears quite larger and measuring approximately uh, 3.8 centimeters into 3.7 centimeters. So this is a bilateral pathology. Left one is more effect, uh, affected. The right one is less affected. But of course, there are bilateral spermatoceles with meshwork of cystic spaces. So this is uh, probably infected spermatoceles. Here it is once again. Thank you very much.